Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever. I hope you're enjoying a coffee or whatever libation uh, is to your taste. In any event, I'm certainly enjoying my coffee. One moment. Ah, superb. I'd like to talk to you about black and white film photography as it relates to uh, digital, which relates to the hectic lives that we, that we live in these days. I mean, we're inundated with information, uh, our home television sets, we've got 40 stations to pick from, the radio you almost can't get away from being pounded with news, uh, your cell phone, which is a requirement in these days, day and age, right? It's got a very competent, um, uh, uh, camera in it. And so I'd like to suggest to you and to think about this that uh, we need to slow down a little bit. I'm not saying giving up uh, uh, your digital cameras, but what I am saying is we need to slow down, become a little bit more relaxed about things in general. The thing about film photography is that it is a much slower process. It is very deliberate. It is completely non-electronic. Oh, save for perhaps a battery for the, uh, the exposure meter. But this, this uh, Roloflex happens to be one of my all-time favorite cameras for a whole bunch of reasons. My career began with it as a news photographer with one of these critters. They do fantastic photographs, as do uh, all 35 millimeter cameras. Something very special about this. And by talking about cameras, a camera is like a key. It is like a medium between you and the subject matter. Could be a sunset, an old barn, or a person. Could be a family member. But also, it's a key where we can get out and we can meet people who we otherwise would not get to meet. And we interact with them quite differently because we have, have a camera. They react to you differently and you react to them quite differently. It's a very different uh, scenario. And it's, it's something that contributes to photographing elements, both in the landscape and with people that kind of initially go on scene takes a bit of a trained eye for it. Now, when it comes to black and white and film photography, it is a more difficult to get a good black and white photograph than it is color. Therein lies a challenge. And I suggest that all of us can do with a bit of a challenge. Nothing that's over our head, of course, and nothing that's going to complicate our lives further than we already have, right? So I'm going to suggest to you uh, that you give analog a try. We'll do this together. Hmm? What we're going to do is we're going to start off with an Ilford um, uh, processing kit. It's a starter kit. There's enough chemistry in here to do uh, two rolls of uh, 35 millimeter film. And I'm going to recommend that we're going to work with Ilford 400 speed HP5 Plus. Wonderful film. It's my choice because I'm primarily a, um, a, a photojournalist. So I like that extra speed and it is very sharp. Okay. Next, you're going to need a processing tank. Patterson is what I recommend. I do not necessarily recommend the metal ones, Kinderman, Nikor. Very good. This comes with uh, two reels. Two reels coming up. Two reels. Now, we're going to, you're going to need a camera. I bought this camera online. It's a very good camera. The quality of the imagery that can come out of here will rival that is of a rangefinder uh, Leica. This happens to be a Konica, and I recommend Konicas. Minolta's are very good, so are some of the Canons. I paid uh, a whopping uh, $20 for this. Whoa. When all this is said and done, 
you're going to wind up with negatives. Oh, oh. This is a very physical process. You're even going to get your fingers wet. I like the fact that we have something that is physical. These are based on uh, precious metal, silver, as opposed to little uh, pixel gremlins that are hiding on a, um, a hard drive someplace, right? And speaking of that, one of the big benefits of the archival qualities <clears throat> of um, analog uh, film is it lasts virtually forever. Well, barring World War III, of course. And here's an example. I did this photograph um, some 50 years ago. This uh, photograph is a, uh, from the Klondike uh, Gold Rush days. This is a homestead, long abandoned. I shot this, I guess it would have been on HP3 and processed in ID11, which is identical um, to the time revered um, D76 from Kodak. This, it, this no longer exists. I have the negative. I have a print here which has survived over 50 years. National Archives would value this. I suggest to you that had digital been available back then, I doubt that the print would have survived 50 years, and I'm not so sure that the, um, these digital, the, the pixels, the digital files would have survived either. So this is something for you to consider. Not to give up digital, no, no, but to give analog um, a try. I can guarantee you that the experience uh, that you would have on shooting even just a couple of rolls of film, you will learn things. You will find it a rewarding experience that you, can may st you will likely stay with, but what you will learn you can transpose to improve your digital photography. So in the next video, which will follow hopefully in almost exactly two weeks, um, Will Prentice is uh, from Amblis Photo, and he uh, edits all this material that I give him. And he will put this up, uh, hopefully in two weeks, and you will no doubt meet uh, uh, Will. He's a very f accomplished photographer in his own right, and no doubt in one of these videos uh, you'll get to meet Will. The next video will be going over in general terms, not the nuts and bolts of mixing the chemistry and one thing and another or loading the camera, that you're going to be able to sort out yourselves. But I'm going to give you six uh, fundamentals rules, shall we say rules, that if you follow them, as I suggest, you are going to come away with some successful photographs that you're going to find very rewarding because you did it. It's not a whole bunch of uh, CPUs and microchips and digital cameras well, that are also in the lenses, for gosh sakes. Wonderful technology, but not the same experience at all. The black and white uh, experience film is one that you, you relax into, you savor, and I promise you, you will enjoy it. So, please have a good couple of weeks. Please come back. Join me again. It's been a real pleasure having a little chat with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good health and good shooting. Bye for now.